people don't understand what their value is. And because when they don't understand what their value, a lot of times they're trying to move the needle in their career and their relationship and whatever. And when you don't understand your value, it's almost like, it's almost, you feel like you're, 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 you're shoplifting. Well, you know, like, we're bombarded with, you know, advertising religion and politics and, and our parents who are trying to create this comfort zone for themselves, uh, you know, understandably. So we're bombarded that we're people. Wait, say, say that again. Tell me what you mean by that, trying to create this comfort zone. Yeah, you know, you're a parent. Like, I have a kid who's a comic. He's 33. I want him to have a great life. I'm going to try to make it easy for him. At the same time, let him be his own person. So, you know, it's that juggling that kind of thing. So I'm never going to be dishonest with him. But you will have parents. You know, my parents wanted the best for me. And my mom was the biggest supporter of my comedy. My dad wasn't. Eventually, he became that way. So just of that part of the conversation is that they'll tell you, like, I want, when I was a kid, I watched the Beatles and I wanted to grow my hair long. And my dad's like, those are wigs because he didn't want me to grow my hair. He's mm. protecting me from getting shit at school. But, you know, looking back, I, was, I would've, wouldn't have cared what people had thought about that. But what yes. I was saying more about, like, advertising, they need you to buy their product. So they got to get you either addicted to it or say that you're a piece of shit. And the only way that you'll <laughs> get out of being a piece of shit is by using their product. Right. Yeah, that's so, the whole idea. And, and they're very good at it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. It's like, you know, I have silver hair and there's just for men. And it's for insecure guys who want to meet shallow women. But that's right. really what it is. But they don't say that. They right. say, no one's going to fuck you if you don't use clear. <laughs> right. you know, no one's going to fuck you if you have gray hair. Right. And then you're like, I want to get, I want sex, so I'm gonna put this mm -hmm. shit in my head. Right. So we're we're victims of it because they're so good at it. And and it's and it bombards you. It's such a consistent bombardment. Like politics. Yeah. Like you know, how did a guy like Hitler become a big star or Mussolini become a big star? It's because they use the techniques that advertising, Ours. you know, yeah. over and over, saying the same thing over and over again until it becomes the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we see that today in politics or in advertising or yeah. whatever. So, you know, one of the things to do is to deconstruct that whole thing. As a comic, we get to deconstruct it. Right. And then we could right. see, and we're still affected. I mean, when I was a kid, I would get sugar frosted flakes because of Tony the Tiger. You know, I mean, that's what I did. And I put right. sugar on my sugar frosted flakes. Right. You know, because I wanted that spoonful of diabetes on the bottom. Uh -huh. yeah. But, uh, you know, but I... Yeah. But even as I was older, you know, I'm older, it's like, they're great. And they're really not great. But I, you know, here I am. I know they're great because some tiger told me it was great. But that's the thinking behind what, what as a comic, we get the chance to deconstruct it and say, hey, look, this, you know, look behind the curtain. You know, there, there's some guy there who's, whose job it is to get you to do something. You know, look inside yourself, you know, and that's not the message on television. That's not the message on the radio. That's why, again, podcasts work so well, because if you're willing to tell the truth, yeah, your yeah. truth, and not People be ashamed listen. of it. Yeah. People want to hear it. They want to hear your truth. Um, it's, it's also an interesting thing when you, you know, when we're trying to find that, that, that like you said, that balance of safety and still pushing. But, you know, and one of the things that I always say about, like, my dad and my mom, my dad would born 1920 so a lot of them like at that they were just trying to survive they they weren't trying to flourish you weren't trying to act they weren't trying to actualize their happiness they were just trying to live eat and survive until uh, until at some point when they got to a level and so we had the luxury of going oh i'm gonna i'm gonna just explore different things. I want to try stand-up comedy and acting and whatever. <clears throat> because we started uh, actualizing fulfillment, self-fulfillment. You man score 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.